Bright with Christmas cheer, this group are sharing festive traditions from thousands of miles apart. This is the first Christmas since Ukrainian refugees arrived in the region following the Russian invasion of their country. Welcome familiarity, but with a few differences. We enjoy to spend Christmas here. It's uh, a bit different than in Ukraine. You start preparation earlier, like one month before. You already feel this Christmas mood in the, in the air. Uh, because in Ukraine, actually, we must celebrate New Year because we have a Christmas after New Year. This year, the Christmas was really special because it's a different one. And we spent it in Macclesfield with my host's family. And it was very different from Ukrainian, but was very kind also. This time we're going to also celebrate a traditional Ukrainian Christmas, which is 6th of January. And uh, we're going to also gather a family together, but with traditional Ukrainian dishes and not the English ones. But yeah, we're going to celebrate it once more. So double Christmas this year. Throughout the festive period, a team of volunteers and host families have worked together to ensure the new arrivals feel at home. It's building a life for them here, because um, you feel like you must feel like the, the floor is being pulled out from underneath you, you know, losing everything. Many of them literally had, didn't have time to take anything. You know, they've talked a lot about their experiences. Um, so it's, it's just giving them the blocks to build a life with again. Um, but it's the social gatherings bringing the Ukrainian people together that have been so important. Um, they're very, very, very sociable. And what amazes me is how adaptable they've been as well. They, they just have a very positive outlook and they've chosen to be grateful to be here. You know, all they talk about is gratitude and you don't actually hear them speaking sadly about the war. They do, obviously, on occasion they do and they do feel it, but they look forward so they're very positive. They look at their new friends and family over here and they do feel like family, really. You know, they just feel like one big family. Tonight, the group will come together again to celebrate the links that have grown here. But these refugees' new friendships forged through the toughest of times. Hannah McNulty, ITV News.